Hey guys, uh, thanks so much to all of you who have taken time um, to write these amazing devotionals uh, every day. Uh, they've been high quality and uh, such a blessing uh, to me. And I know as we lead up to this YA Movement weekend, that everything that has been deposited, you know, it, it, it is going to fulfill what it needs to fulfill. The Bible says that no word returns void, but it will always accomplish what it was sent to accomplish. And so every scripture that is in you, there's going to be a harvest as a result of that. But just thinking of this week as we head into movement and uh, what is the one thing that we want every young adult to leave uh, that conference with on, um, on Friday, on when is it? Saturday night, Sunday, whenever they leave, um, is primarily that they just grab hold of Jesus and run the race. I think if we call it in simple terms, that's, that's my desire, I know that's Abs' desire, that young adults grab hold of Jesus and simply run their race. And um, to do that, um, you need a bit of passion. And uh, there's this verse uh, in Hebrews 12, familiar to all of us, verse one to three, it says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and the perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Uh, it's so easy to grow weary, and it's so easy to lose heart. But when you grab hold of a passion, do you know what I mean? It gives you the ability to keep running and keep persevering. Here's the thing about passion. Skills can be trained but passion can never be trained. I can, tr I can, we can treat, teach skills. We can try and develop your skill in communication or your skill in musicianship, but passion cannot be trained. Passion ultimately is a decision. Passion is ultimately where you say, today I make a decision to be passionate about what I'm going to do, passionate about my friends, passionate about my church, passionate about the gifts that God has given me. And every day I make a decision with the passion that God has given me. And so I do it. 100%. I don't lose heart. I give it all that I've got. And that is our prayer this week, that every single one of us, we simply go into this week and we give it everything we've got. We make a decision. Because the reality is our skills might slightly increase over the next three days, but our passion every day is a decision. How passionate am I going to be about serving God today? How passionate am I going to be about you know, communicating God within this conference? How passionate am I going to be about bringing an atmosphere of faith to this conference? Where is my passion today? And so, you know, you know, people say passion is contagious, and it is, but ultimately passion sits with you as a decision. And uh, for the joy set before him, the Bible says Jesus endured the cross because he saw what was coming. He made a decision. I'm going to endure because whenever you are passionate, you have to understand a couple of things. One, it starts with Jesus fixing our eyes on Jesus. But there is always a joy attached to passion. If you don't enjoy what you're doing, if, you, if you're not loving what you're doing, you're going to find it hard to be passionate about it. But for the joy set before him, Jesus endured some stuff. Why? Because whenever there is passion, there is also an aspect of endurance where you've just got to keep going. You've got to keep working hard. You've got to keep giving it the best that you've got. And, 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 we, and as a result of that, we don't grow weary and we don't lose heart. Why? Because the passion builds and builds and builds and helps us in the race that has been marked out for us. So I love you with all my heart. Can't wait to serve with you this weekend. Can't wait to serve God with you this weekend as a team. The best team we've ever had. The best team we've got here. Uh, in The best team in the world right now uh, is you guys. And so let's make movement 17 uh, the best ever. Love you. Bye.